But I say we go back to Brett Brown because I think that's an interesting one because okay. yeah. we saw that one coming. We knew they were going to make changes, but um, Elton Brand did announce that they did not want to trade Simmons or Joel Embiid. And so what I want to ask you is how do you construct that roster and who do you replace as a coach? If he's saying he's not going to get rid of either of those players, I think he's just saying that to cover his own ass. Because right. in, in reality, you got to think about it like – yeah, you're not going to say I'm going to trade one of my superstars because then you lose value on it. And then, you, if you don't know if you noticed, but, like, almost every time a GM says that, mm-hmm. one of those stars gets traded. That's true. Um, but on the, I think on a side note, I think Ben Simmons also uh, joined Face Clan because he's a gaming. Really? Yeah, he joined. <laughs> I didn't know he, that. Yeah, he joined Face Clan. I was, like, it was posted about. And, and then it's because the only reason I mentioned that is because I, I also saw a tweet that he posted Saying like I'm sad my teammates lost or like oh like he doesn't want to have that feeling he doesn't want to have that feeling because yeah, I guess like swept. getting swept, swept yeah. yeah and he didn't like that even though he didn't play well he um, was injured so yeah, yeah, yeah no, but he he do. wanted he wanted to be there for his teammates so I I respect that that's like right. so but I don't honestly honestly think that if I'm the Sixers I I'm trading one of them if if it's my if I get like an offer like a serious offer maybe like a for like I don't know like maybe a Gary Harris and I mean that's not enough. You, you no, Gary Harris no. is injured. You need someone who's. I'm trying to think what point guard they need a point guard. I think they need. They a, messed up by letting Jimmy go. That I, was one thing. And I then think giving Tobias Harris a five year max deal. But they're saying it's more than that. I think it had to do with Brett Brown at that point. That, yeah, that was. They the should thing. have let Brett Brown, Brown go, go if they could have kept Jimmy because Jimmy's more important than Brown. I think Jimmy was going to bounce regardless though. So. But they were saying it's because he conflicted with egos because Brett Brown is very non-confrontational. But you know, Jimmy doesn't like to play with like young players that are like too kind of Hollywood, soft. Like soft yeah. yeah. So it could have been. That's why Miami's a, a perfect fit for him. Honestly, if Jimmy would have just stayed with Joel and Bead, they they would have had something regardless who they had. I would have traded Simmons for some other players. I, they should have tried to go for Porzingis if they could have. You know what? I I have a question for you. Sure. Um, if you were going to trade, okay. I, I got to find a way to, like, say this correctly because if you were to trade Joel Embiid, do you think that the process was it's a failure, over. like a failure? Because I if think, you think about it, it kind of looks like... I think it was, and I think that has more to say about the 76ers organization as a whole right? Um, instead of, of the process itself because the process should have worked, but it's... it's like theoretically. Theoretically. Like, right. everything was was working until you realized you know i think what did was did sam hinky end up uh drafting jaleel okafer or was that the year he got fired no he, he got fired after markel fultz i think no it was before that sam hinky sam hinky was before that because they oh, ended it was up like right they, no 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 they ended up getting the guy who's uh colangelo and colangelo was the team usa guy he's a he's the guy in charge of everything for Team USA, and he was coach until he had like a whole Twitter. His wife started tweeting for him. Right, I remember that. I remember you remember? That. So then, uh, then he got let go. But he was actually not bad as a GM. And then they let him go, and then they took over. They let Elton Brand take over. Right, I what, remember. I, so I that say Sam Hinkie. Yeah, it was uh, 2016. And what I think that was the same year Jaleel Okafor got drafted. No, he was like. Was he 14? No, double check. It was right after Towns. Remember Towns, D'Angelo, and it was Okafor. Yeah. I'll check the draft right now. I'm looking looking it up. He was drafted. Because think about it. They would tank, and then they would get these draft picks, and then they would, like, the only good picks they got was Embiid and Simmons. They they picked Nerlens, and then they picked Joel, and then they picked Okafor. Okafor. And then right after that, they picked Markel. Markel, they should have kept. It was just unfortunate that he got. Yeah, so he. They traded the pick, remember, because they could have got Jason Tatum. I wouldn't. Yeah. Well, they. That's it, where they messed up. If you look at Markel Fultz now, if it's just their timing was unlucky. If you think about so it, so you tell me Jimmy would have stayed if Markel was there. I don't think he would have stayed. I don't think Markel was that like X factor like for the process. I think that he was too. It young. probably would have been Jason Tatum. We're like now, now you can worry about Simmons being your point guard. Then you have your Tatum as your wing, and then you have your dominant center in Joel Embiid. I think that's where they like really messed up. I just I don't Mark think Helfel's I don't trade. think I don't think Simmons is a good fit next to Embiid. When you have a dominant center, you want a power forward that is going to spread the floor for you. Uh-huh. Um, I think like they should have gotten like a like the Televich guy. You remember uh, Mirza Teletovich? He used to play for the Bucks. That's when they were he, good. Remember when they had they had Sova, uh, JJ Sova, R- Riddick. and Reddick. They had shooting, and this roster had no shooting. And going into the year, that was always a problem for them. 
So I think they, they kind of knew this was going to happen, and they just said, oh, we're built for the playoffs because you're big. Right. But you have n- slow, you have no one. Yeah, that's not going to work. Is, Joel works best when the offense is slowed down. Ben yeah. Simmons plays best when the offense it's is sped running. Up. Yeah. So, so that's why they're not gonna they're not gonna fit because yeah. one of them is always out on on the play. One of them's not you know into it. All right. So to continue on that, I have a trade proposal proposal to see if the Sixers will take it. Okay. What's your what's your thought process? Hit me. All right. So remember how I said I think. The Warriors are going to try to trade for Giannis. Oh, if they if can't, they, they go can't for Simmons. Simmons. You trade Draymond, your pick, Wiggins. Wiggins and Joel Embiid play together in high school and college. No, I, college. I they could play see, together in college. I could see Wiggins in a top pick. I Probably just those two, huh? You don't need to trade yeah, Draymond. I don't, think right. they, I don't think they trade. And then just play small, have Draymond at your center. But it's because the reason why I threw Draymond in there is because Simmons is a younger, faster. And his contract's more. You might have to. No, you you wouldn't be able to. No, because Wiggins and Simmons have similar contracts. Yeah. And then you're throwing in that, what is it, the second pick? Yeah. And then they draft LaMelo, the 76ers. If the 76ers got LaMelo, that would be a big roster change, and I think it would help Joel a lot. I think that helped that roster. Because think about it, he'll have a guard. That's a great trade offer. That's a that's like I didn't think about that. That totally like blanked my mind. Yeah, but honestly, and Wiggins is just a score. He's not like alpha, but he's he could get you seventeen to twenty points a game. And I think it would bring the best out of Simmons because then he'd be able to just run the floor and worry about guarding his man at his position mm-hmm. and not have to like. And then Joel and B will have space because Melo will be out, Wiggins will be out. I think they would have to they have to get rid of either Horford or Tobias also. You can get have Ho- you shooters. can have you can have Horford off the bench or you could trade him. But his contract's too big, and I'm like. He I wouldn't want him. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't really fill with the roster. You right. could. The reason they kept him, they wanted him, is so that way Joel couldn't get stopped by him. Right. But he's more detrimental on your team than even playing against him. Because mm-hmm. Simmons with the war, like I'm thinking both teams. Sorry, um, Simmons would be great with the Warriors. You know, you know what they could offer? They could offer the only way the Sixers would do the trade is say say Al Horford and uh, Simmons for uh, Draymond and Wiggins, right? And then throw in the pick. Mm-hmm. That's going to be tough for the Warriors to swallow, but, I mean... You got to, like, think of the future. Al Horford has that championship mentality. Mm-hmm. He could fit the team together like Dre. It'll cause a little bit less arguing. I mean, it, it. I wouldn't I wouldn't think it's a bad offer. That's a really good offer. Yeah, I mean, I think... Uh, that was the first one I thought of. I remember you were saying Cleveland really wanted Simmons, but that I'm Cleveland thinking trade's not bad it'll either. benefit, like, both teams. I think I think the Cleveland... Cleveland didn't the Cleveland, get a top pick. The that Cle- was their issue. But I think either way, Kevin Love is a superstar. And if you want, it depends on what you want. If you want to win now and, and, you know, risk it for the biscuit. I'm thinking, do you want a guard and a wing? Or do you want another big? It depends what the Warriors are willing to trade at no, the no, end no. of the day. Well, yeah, that's if they're willing to, like, to let do go they value pick? Simmons that much where they'll yeah. get their second pick? And Wiggins and Dre. Right. I mean, you got to think about Wiggins. is but like Obviously, first, you want to go for Giannis if they lose. Yeah. But speaking of uh, Giannis, they actually won today. So yeah, four one, four one. They, yeah, they so won. you were a little off on your bet. You guys both lost that bet, though. You and yeah, Zach. we both said you guys both had sweeps. But which no. yeah, game one was like a debacle. No, yeah, the, the the broom closet was locked on the game one. Yeah.